All right, boys and girls, welcome back to science. It's Miss Moore. So today we are going to continue our conversation on natural resources. Can you think back to yesterday and think about one natural resource? Awesome. I'm hoping you're thinking of one like the sun. Maybe you've said air. Maybe you said water, animals, plants any of those, soil, wood, fossil fuels, any of those are natural resources. Now, can you think back to yesterday and think of one natural resource and a product that you can make from it? Hmm, what about a cow? What would a cow produce for us? Something that we drink in the morning, maybe milk? Awesome if you thought about that. How about our sheep from yesterday that was on our uh, Google assignment? What does a sheep help us make? What kind of product? Maybe you're thinking mittens. It could also be a sweater. We can use its wool to create a mitten or sweater, something to keep us warm. There are so many different natural products that help us create products that we need, natural resources that help us create products. So today, we are going to understand that natural resources are used to make products. We are going to watch a video on natural resources and the types of products created by them and then find their own product that's created from the natural resource. We're going to do this because we want to understand that products can be made from natural resources. So we're going to go ahead and watch a video on our natural resources and things that we can make from it. All right, boys and girls, so we're going to get going with our cartoon on natural resources. Am I, am I, am I, am I, am I. You certainly seem to be enjoying that shower, Nutley. You know it, Professor. But Nutley, not only did you take a very long shower, you didn't turn off the water. That's okay. With all the rain we've had, we've got plenty. I'm glad I came along when I did. It seems we have a bit to learn. What's to learn? I scrub behind my ears. Not about bathing, Nutley. About the things that are important for our daily living that come from nature. These are called natural resources, like the water you just used for your shower. And we need that to keep me smelling fresh and clean, right? Well, yes, but more importantly, all living things need clean water to survive. Can you think of another natural resource we all need in order to live? Hmm? Huh? Oh, well, there's... Yeah. Uh, let me help you. Clean air is another natural resource we all need to survive. Oh. So, are those the only ones? Just air and water? <laughs> Hardly. Let's look at some others. That's a great-looking forest. Yes, it is. And trees are another valuable natural resource. For nuts, right? Well, yes, but that's not all. Trees also put the oxygen into the air that we all need to breathe. And we use wood from trees to build houses. Trees. All right, so wood, one of the products that we can make from wood is a house. Your house is probably made from wood, or there's some wood in there that helped make your home. So that is one product we can get from a natural resource are awesome, huh? Yes, they are. And so is the soil they grow in, which is also another natural resource. Hang on a minute. Plain old dirt is a natural resource. Oh, it certainly is, Nutley. We use soil to farm, and on those farms, we grow food. The Earth sure gives us a lot of stuff. Yes, our survival depends on these natural resources, and we should use them carefully so that we don't run out. That wouldn't be good. Right you are, Nutley. We must conserve our natural resources. My thoughts exactly, Professor. So what exactly does conserve mean? Conserve means to protect something and not waste it. And there are lots of ways we can do just that, so that there are plenty of natural resources for everyone. Like recycling, which reduces the amount of natural resources we use and the amount of trash we put into landfills. Recycling. Check. What else? 
keeping our air and water clean. Makes perfect sense. The animals and plants that live in the wild are another important natural resource. That's why we have national parks where they are protected. I think I'd like to visit one of those national parks. Oh, they're very special places. But remember, when you go, the only thing you should leave are footprints. Oh, I get it. Don't leave any trash. Exactly. These are always to protect our natural resources. But remember that conserve also means not wasting something, like turning off the water when you're not using it. I'm sorry, Professor. I had no idea. I know, Nutley. We all have to do our part. That means turn off all electricity when we're not using it, like TVs and lights. And don't waste water. If we all work together to conserve and protect our natural resources, then we'll have enough for your children and your children's children, too. Uh-huh. A Cornelius. Uh, what's that, Nutley? That's what I'm going to name my son, if I have one. And I'm going to make sure he has plenty of clean air and water and other natural resources to live a happy and healthy life. That's a fine idea, Nutley. A fine idea indeed. All right, so we learned and listened to some more natural resources and things that we can make from natural resources. So go ahead and click on my next video and we will work together on our Google assignment.